and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I've had a 2019 haircut. Um, nice and sleek, a bit shorter than usual, but there we go. Anyway, I thought that I would share um, a hamper that I won at my school Christmas fair. I never win anything, but I won two things. One was a £30 uh, voucher in a local uh, Indian curry house and another one was a hamper of goodies. Here is my hamper of goodies. Look at all those. So let's take it off. I'm just going to count them first. 17, 18, 19. Good that I can count. And a little basket. Very helpful. So first of all, I've got several Coco Loco beauty products. I've never even heard of Coco Loco. I've got a Coco Loco shampoo and a Coco Loco uh, conditioner. There they are. It says, did you know that coconut oil is a natural nutrient and it provides the essential ooh, proteins required for nourishing and repairing damaged hair. Um, well, I didn't know that, but we'll give it a whirl. And it says, your first step to silky, soft, shiny hair, that's the shampoo, and straw to silk, mm. with coconut oil for the conditioner. They obviously like um, product, uh, hair products. I've got a blow and go, genius, lotion for stress-free drying so presumably you put that on before you dry your hair and I've also got a Coco Loco Ooh, is it gonna work there it is um, it's a hair oil it's a light I've got glasses on a light glasses on a light <sighs> Okay, so I've got the glasses because otherwise I can't read what it says. So, moving back um, to the hair, Coco Loco hair oil. So, it says, light oil for soft, glossy and healthy looking hair. It's deliciously coconutty. So that it is. And, oh yeah, you rub a few pumps between your hands and apply to wet or dry hair. There we go. Um, the other thing that I got is a Coco Loco room. Oh no. Oh, golly, I can't cope with this. So I'm not sure what the difference is between. So I've got a hair oil and a Coco Loco light serum spray. Who knows? Basically, I think it just makes your hair smell nice and looks after it and makes it smell like coconut. Anyway, that's them. Oh. Ooh. I've also got the Coco Loco um, hair mask for bringing hair back to life. So it says a deliciously creamy coconut mask to bring hair back to life. I just said that, didn't I, really? So what that was all about, I don't know. There it is. Oh, Coco Loco. It's all sort of done and dusted. So I've got my Fresh Sweet Raspberry Shower Scrub. And my Coconut Exotically Creamy Coconut Shower Scrub. All got natural vitamins for your skin. Lovely. And this, this looks like something I really need. SOS balm. Oh, I'm not sure that I'm doing it there. Look, is that there? Yeah, that's it. SOS balm. It says eight ways to restore beautiful skin. One, it treats. Two, it nourishes. Three, it softens. softens four, it relieves. Five, it moisturises. Six, it protects. Seven, it soothes. And eight, it renews vitamin E and moisturising apricot, avocado and baobab oil. 
this SOS balm oil can not only be used to treat dry or chapped skin, it could also soften cuticles and shape brows. I haven't got any brows. Oh, it's pink. It's not pink, orange. Look. Oh, it's thicker than you think. There it is. Oh. Um, yeah, I think now I just want that to go back in because I'm not ready to quite use it. So we'll just... Ooh, I was just hoping it would just show you the tip. Oh, it's quite sticky. Maybe I'll just put it on my cuticles and then just hope it does something wonderful. There we go. You know, don't want to waste it. So now I've got Spa Sacred Spa Body Lotion. Um, that is nice and soft. Ooh, yeah, I do like that smell. Very nice. So then I have got um, a perfume which is called Good Girl. Um, and it's from Carolina Herrera from New York. Who is it? But I've just opened the box. It's quite sweet. Look, who'd know? It's like a shoe. Oh. That'll look nice on your dressing table. Quite sure how you take the top off yet and my hands are all sticky because of that stuff oh there we go oh that comes off like that look so you then just it's not a squirter it's a it's a dabber if that's what you're saying oh. i got a little small cutie fluorescent turquoise makeup pouch which is actually quite handy because it's just small so it means that you can just put a couple of bits in it when you're going out rather than a whole handbag worth um so that's that that's from rimmel i then got this it's called well jelly but it's sort of a bag that you put things in but i'd be terrified it would leak so i'm not quite sure about that one um i thought perhaps it was an eye mask but no it's uh, another little makeup bag then i've got a little uh bag that's got sleek makeup I open it up and oh all eyes on the prize let's have a little look and see what's inside it's a bit exciting isn't it um beautifully wrapped up in paper sleep makeup oh look at that cutie so it's all the Browns, and then while up here, oh, I've got two lipsticks. One is glasses are coming down. Velvet slipper, one thousand and thirty-nine, and the other one is birthday suit, four hundred and thirty-six. So one's more pinky. And one's more orangey. Then I've got something for my feet. So um, I think this is to try and clean my feet up. Um, scrub my, my heels. Whatever one of those is called. Um, like a nail filey thing. Um, and then I've got Gerwal. I've never heard of those. But they're to do with your feet. It's for a herbal bath that softens hard skin, combats rough and cracked skin, foot perspiration and foot odour, mm -mm. and a softening balsam and a hand cream. So who knew? Oh. So there. Then I've got one of these sort of loofah sponge things. I never quite use, I always have an old sponge, but you know, we bought a cu I bought a couple of old sponges recently and they didn't last a week. So maybe I should try one of these and maybe it's better for your skin. So I've got one of those. I've got a Tony and Guy sock, pink and yellow. Then I've got whatever this is. This is, says Tattoo Brow Easy Peel Off Tint. 
trouble is I don't really ever do anything with my brows maybe I should um, it's like a little black liquidy thing I'm not going to do this on camera because it could go horribly wrong and last but not least I've got some sparkling rosé blossom um, I have to go through all those beauty treatments. I feel like I need a glass of rosé blossom. Anyway, that was my winning hamper. What a lovely bunch of goodies that I've now got to take the time to try out um, and see whether they're any good or not. Thank you for joining me in opening this lovely hamper. Bye.